Now, in the next question, that is question 41, it says hydrogen atom in ground state is excited by a monochromatic radiation of lambda 975 angstrom. Number of spectral lines in the resulting spectrum emitted will be. Now, you see in this question, first you have to calculate what is the energy contained in this wa uh, wavelength lambda that is given to you 975 angstrom. Whatever energy value you will be getting, it is a lengthy calculation. But whatever it is, you have to calculate this thing and add on to minus 13.6. Then you will find that the new energy of the electron is suitable for reaching up to n is equal to 4. Understand? So, it will be reaching from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 4. This is the n is equal to 4 and this is n is equal to 1. Now, you see the spectral lines possible. They are something like this first from 4 to 3, 4 to 2 and 4 to 1. In between, if they are trapped on say n is equal to 3, then they can come up to 2, they can come up to 1 and in between, if the electrons, jumping electrons, if they were trapped on 2, so another spectral line like this was possible. So, in total, 6 lines are possible and for that, the most appropriate answer will be option number 3. Now, let me explain next question that is question 42. Now, in the next question that is question 42, the binding energy per nucleon of lithium and helium nuclei are 5.60 mega electron volt and 7.06 mega electron volt respectively has been given to you. Now, in the nuclear reaction, this is the reaction which is given to you in which lithium is being attacked by proton and that is producing two nuclei of helium and some energy is getting released. Now, in this question, you have to find out the value of energy released. Now, see here, whatever is the binding energy of helium per nucleon should be multiplied by 8 because number of nucleon here is total 8. 8 into this 7.06, this will be the energy released, but the energy consumed will be due to this lithium and lithium has number of nucleon 7, this is to be multiplied to 5.06. So, whatever value you will be getting that is 17.3 mega electron volt and for that matter your most appropriate option will be the fourth one and that explains question number 42. Now, let me explain next question that is question 43. Now, in the next question that is question 43 which is based on radioactivity, it says that a radioisotope X with a half life of 1.4 into 10 to the power 9 years decays to y which is stable. A sample of the rock from a cave was found to contain x and y in the ratio 1 is to 7. Now, what is the age of the rock? That is what you are supposed to calculate. Now, you see in this question, the ratio x and y, the value right now has been given to be 1 is to 7. Now, see whatever is y, this is stable. If you add both of them, this was the situation, if you add both of them, this is 8, 8 is to 0 ratio was in the beginning, you understand. Now, from 8, after one half life, it must have come to 4, for another half life, it must have come to 2 and for the next half life, it has come to the value 1. That means, from the beginning to this stage, it has passed 3 half lives. So, the age will be nothing but 3 times the half life value that is 1.4 into 10 to the power 9 years and for that matter the most appropriate answer will be the third option that is 4.2 into 10 to the power 9 years that explains question number 43. Now, let me explain next question that is question 44. Now, in this uh, question 44, which is a straightforward NCERT based question, which is a fact based thing, the given graph represents VI characteristic for a semiconductor device. You see, IV graph in fourth quadrant, this is for solar cell, you can clearly see in the text and this is true for the first option which has been given here. It is VI characteristic for solar cell, where point A represents open circuit voltage. Open circuit means current is zero, so whatever voltage is there. 
so that is open circuit voltage and point b short circuit current this b point is short circuit current short circuit that means the value of voltage there is zero so most appropriate answer for this question is one this is direct statement lifted from the ncrt text so that is the answer to question 44 now let me explain the last question of physics that is question 45 Now let me explain the question 45 that is the last question of physics and again it is a fact based question it says that the barrier potential of a PN junction depends on you have been given three options type of semiconductor material amount of doping and temperature now these are the options you see this barrier potential depends on all the three things these are fact based things so I will mark answer 4 for this particular question. Now with the explanation of this question 45, we have come to the end of the physics part of the AIPMT 2014 physics code P question booklet. Thank you.